Let's look at the convergence of a geometric series. Where does the geometric series converge and when does it does not converge? Now, any geometric series is essentially a series in which you know each term will increase with a common ratio. So, say R is our common ratio, we will be taking the simplest form of a geometric series. So, we have R to the power 0 plus R to the power 1 because R have increased uh, one time once and then twice and so on and so forth till n that will be our SN. Okay. Now, this is this holds true for all n greater than or equal to 0. Right. So, the simplest case, which can be the simplest case? Let's look at the simplest case. What happens when R equals to 1? When R equals to 1, then you know 1 to the power anything will be 1 right now so sn essentially will turn into 1 plus 1 plus 1 and so on and so forth plus 1 these are n terms so the total becomes n okay now as limit n tends to infinity what happens to n sn it will tend to infinity. It is not convergent, right? So, therefore, the series SN, okay, the series SN it will not be convergent, okay, will not be convergent, will not be convergent. Now, what happens if R is, is you know some fraction between 0 and 1? Okay, R is some fractional value between 0 and 1. It could be plus or minus, it could be a positive or a negative. So let me look at terms which are which are between minus 1 and 1. So, what happens when R becomes to minus 1 and 1? Okay, uh, open minus 1 and 1 because I have already seen uh, what happens when it is 1. So, let me take open brackets. So, Sn will simply be, Sn is 1 plus R plus R square plus so on and so forth till Rn. What is a finite geometric sum? The finite geometric sum formula says that this will be essentially r n plus 1 minus 1 upon r minus 1. Okay, now let's look at the limit as n tends to infinity of Sn. Now as n tends to infinity, what happens to r n plus 1? Now remember r is r is you know something between minus 1 and 1. It could be you know 0. 0.5 or minus 0. 0.5. It will be a fraction basically you know 1 by 3, 2 by 3, any, any fraction right. So in case fraction between 0 and 1 is moved to the power n plus 1 where that is going to infinity. On the real line, basically what is happening, if say I have half here, you know, minus half here, then half to the power 2 would be 1 by 4, lesser than this, lesser than this, lesser than this. Similarly, here also you have terms. You will have terms converging to 0. So, this converges to 0, okay. This converges to 0. So, what do I have? 0 minus 1 upon r minus 1 which is basically 1 upon 1 minus r okay so in case r lies between 0 and 1 then the limit will exist and it will depend on r so it will be 1 upon 1 minus r okay now let's take another case let's take another case where uh, say r is greater than 1 what happens case 3 
what happens when r is greater than 1 okay it's a big it, it's it's turning into big it can be any number 2 3 2.5 anything okay it's, it it is bigger than 1 then again my formula is that r the sum of a finite series will be this but now what will happen to r n plus 1 as n tends to infinity now r is some bigger number okay so it can be 1.5 it can be uh, you know anything so if i look at 1.5 square it will be it will be basically 1.5 into 1.5, so it'll be 2.25. It is increasing. If you have a cube, it will still increase, and so on and so forth. Okay, so that means that when you have anything, uh, the common ratio bigger than one, as n will tend to infinity, this will tend to infinity. This will be infinitely big. So that means as limit n tends to infinity, as n moves toward infinity so it is divergent it is properly divergent okay it's not convergent and it's actually properly divergent let's take now the final case case number 4 where r could be less than or equal to 1 Uh, sorry, minus one, less than or equal to minus one. Okay, what we did, we saw r, uh, you know, equals to one, r belonging to open minus one one, and we have seen r greater than one. What remains is what happens if it is less than or equal to minus one. Let's see. Now, again, what is our formula? S n. The formula says that the S S n will become R n plus one minus one upon s minus one. That's the sum of a sum sum. Okay, that's the sum of a finite series. Okay, now limit n plus one r to the power n plus one as n tends to infinity. We have seen that goes to infinity. Okay. It does not exist, so this does not exist. This does not exist. So therefore, when this does not exist, that means that limit is n tends to infinity s n does not exist. So in this case, it will not exist. Does not. Exists. Okay. In this case, the limit will not exist again. So therefore, S n is divergent. So where is S n convergent? S n is convergent. It is not convergent in the first case. Where r equals to one, it is convergent. In the case two, where r is well in between minus one and one, that is r is some fraction. Okay, that is r is some fraction. When it is greater than one, again it will not in you know exist again. When it is less than or equal to minus one, it will not exist. Okay.